Good morning, my brothers and sisters. This is Apostle Patrick Antoine. Welcoming you to LGHP Radio. And uh, today I'm going to talk to you. This is the final show talking about angelic visit visitation. <clears throat> and uh, in the book of Revelation, chapter 8, we see, we read something. In verse 2, this is John vision. And I saw the seven angels who stand before God, and to them were given seven trumpets. Where did we read that before? In Luke 1. When Zechariah doubted the word of the angel Gabriel, Gabriel said to him, Do you know who I am? I stand before God. I stand in the presence of God. Now, I'm going to give you a revelation. Gab Gabriel is one of the angels that will hold the seven trumpets. One of the angels that will hold the seven trumpets. He had the trumpets. Hallelujah. I remember when the ministry started, I was sleeping and an angel come beside my bed and I heard the sound of a trumpet and this wake me up and that was the beginning of this ministry i didn't know what that was and later on i identified that there are many angels if you read the, the book of revelations many angels not all of them stand in the presence of god in luke 1 gabriel said I stand in the presence of God. And now we find out in Revelation 8, there are seven angels who stand right now in heaven in the presence of God. I can tell you right now, Gabriel is standing in the presence of God. This is why if you, God bless you this month, with such great vision and allow Gabriel to descend, to descend, to visit you, you know something big is about to happen in your life. Favor will flow all over your life. All day, I was thinking about that and I said, this is not any type of angels. And he was telling me, you know, Jesus, he was telling me, he said, you know, these seven angels, they're powerful angels. You see how he was able for the whole nine months of the pregnancy to shut the mouth of Zechariah. You know, they have, they have power to act on God's behalf. And we see verse 3 another angel who had a golden censer came and stood at the altar and there is another angel <laughs> amen, amen. like i said there are many angels so if you are lucky or favored not do the word lucky favored by god amen, amen. to see his glory and see one of his powerful angel. Hallelujah. Like I said in my prayer. Hallelujah. Manoah prayed and asked God to send his angel. Hallelujah. And this happened. This happened. You know, my problem now with Christianity, we have people 
who doesn't go to church that believe in God? But we see Christians, they doubt, they, they do not believe in the power. Like I said to you, this is the moment that the angel of favor can visit you. And many people, they do not believe. Let's jump to verse 6 here. Let's start the reading. Then the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared to sound them. Let me tell you. The preparation for them to sound the trumpet on your behalf telling you brand new things. You know, a brand new beginning is about to take hold into your life. That's mean, you know, it's already done. The preparation, he said, and the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared to sound. Hallelujah. And when they sound that trumpet, like I said in the beginning of the ministry, and then Joel come by my bed, I was sleeping and I hear. Amen and amen. But in this case, we see the first angel sounded and there came hell, fire mixed with blood. It's not what we are talking about here. This is what will take place in the end. I'm talking an event that is happening every year. Hallelujah. God, the Lord God Almighty. Is sending on earth his angel of favor, Gabriel, hallelujah, like we see in the sixth month, hallelujah. The angel Gabriel came to Mary and said, You are highly favored. And, and you know, when the trumpet will sound <laughs> for you. You know, it will be in God's timing. And you have to say, God, send an angel, send an angel, send an angel. I have a lot of things that I know about these seven angels. <laughs> you know, some of them, you, you, know, I, I, you know, I think three of them, you don't want them to come and visit you. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I want to say. But we know Gabriel. Gabriel. Hallelujah. If you're lucky enough for Gabriel to come and visit you, Gabriel, hallelujah, will bring favor into your life. Like yesterday, I said, listen to the angel. Obey the angel. Do not doubt the angel. Amen and amen. Right now, angels are walking the earth, and there are four angels that these are different from the seven that are in the four corners of the earth. Amen and amen. There are many, many, many angels. You know, as many as we have people on earth, <laughs> or even more. Because uh, to become an angel, you have to, to pass to an experience like an earthly experience. I said like, like a man and a man. Because God has created many, hallelujah, many earth-like, hallelujah, Earth-like places for his spirit to develop, and after that, they become angel. Like you see, this experience on earth that we attach a great deal to, the Lord God Almighty is laughing and saying, "This is nothing at all. This is just the beginning of your evolution." My brothers, my sisters, they are many angels. The Lord God Almighty has seven angels. Hallelujah. 
And if he sent Gabriel to visit you, you know, favor is coming. And when an angel come to you, he will have a message. He will know your name the same way Gabriel knew the name of Mary. He will know your name, your situation, where you live in. And he will have a mission for you, something to do. And you will give birth to the holy will of God. Are you ready for that? Be blessed, be edified. Throughout the month of Elul and get ready for your visitation. I say these things in Jesus' name. Amen.